Hi, in this video, we'll see how to work with the word maps. Now, if you want to represent your data, let's say your sales done by the countries part, instead of showing a bar graph or instead of showing some scattered chart, I think this would be more attractive to show which country has the highest sales. So this is known as the word map, where you have different types of colors based on the countries or based on the sales. You have different types of styles against based on the sales which is done. So it is very simple and easy to create a word map. It takes only 30 seconds to create similar kind of word map. Let's see how to do it. I'll take you from scratch for the first time. Definitely it will take more longer time. But the next time I'll show you how to create in 30 seconds. So if you observe, what do I have? I have the names of all the countries in this space itself. And uh, based on the sales, I've given some color. Let's see now. So I'll just create a word map and the blank sheet is given here. So whatever textual representation you want, you have to bring in this place in the textual part. Suppose you want the countries, pick up the countries and drop into text. If you want the region, pick up the region and drop into this place. So first thing is I'll pick up the, I'll pick up the country and I'll drop into this text part. So if you see, I'm getting only text, a boring text like word document or an Excel sheet, I'm getting at this place. Based on the sales which are done, I want the size of those countries to be expanded. So if I want the size based on the sales, pick up the sales and drop into the size. And if you observe here, I'm getting different type of chart, but this is which I don't want. So what I can do is if I want the other chart, that is the word map, click on this drop down and you can select this option as text. Now, if you observe, I'm getting a text in this place, but the text I've got it. Why did I select from here? Because as I said, visualization query language automatically selects the best suited chart. So I've selected from this place as text. So this is the textual representation, but it is not colorful. I want some colors based on the sales. I want the colors. So pick up the sales, put into the colors part and you'll be getting a coloring option. And now if you see that's a color, light blue color and dark blue color. I, and I think the color is not up to the mark. We need to change the colors. If you want to change the colors, you have to go to the marks card, select this option as colors, click on edit colors and you have to select some different palette which is given. I'll click on this drop down. So many options which are given. I'll select as the option as uh, gold purple diverging and select as apply. So if you observe, this is the coloring part which is done. I'll still choose some other option. I'll choose sunrise, sunset, apply and okay. And if you observe, that's the coloring part. Now, if you think the text is not represented properly, I need to make it as bold. So you can go to this place, select the option text, click on this drop down and you can make it as select everything and click on bold, click on apply. And if you see the text at the back end has been made as bold itself, right? So this is a very simple and easy method by which you can create a word map. It's very simple. Now let's see what challenge, how to create in 30 seconds, a word map. So I'll just click on this clear sheet entirely. Okay. And now let's see, first of all, let's see, let's start now country into the text sales into this colors. Uh, again, sales into this size that is done here. I'll select here from the text part. Now, based on the order priority, what I want, I want to change everything here. So what I can do is I can select this as order priority, click on this drop down, order priority, click on this drop down and you can say show filter. On the right hand side, if you see, I'll be getting a filter part. Now I want to find out based on the order priority, which are the countries which are given here. So I'll select as medium. So these are the few countries based on the medium order priority. If I select the option as low, these are the countries with low order priority. If I select the option as critical, okay, so these are the countries. So based on this option, that is nothing but the filters also known as you can say as interactive filters, you can keep on changing your word map. That's very simple and easy. I'll select all from this place. So I hope you're able to understand how to create a word map, how to create a word map that is interactive and how to work on the different word maps. That's all for this video.